Japanese, Mr. Chang, and today I'm here to do a small haul video with you guys. I just want to share some stuff I got from Amazon Japan because I was so excited about the Doraemon release from Hobonichi, right? So I ordered a bunch of Doraemon things. <laughs> There's a couple of other things in here that are not Doraemon related, but most of them are featuring this little guy here. So first up are these little sticker books that I got. I got two Doraemon ones and a Sumiko Gurashi one. These ones, they didn't show the stickers that were inside, right? So I was really hoping for mostly Dory Moon stickers, although I knew that they would have a mix of other characters in there. This one, even though I do love this little guy, this one, if you're hoping to get a sticker book with mostly him in it, then you might be disappointed in this one just because this one has a lot of the other characters, right? So on the inside of the front cover, there's this thing here. This is kind of like a table of contents. You can see that you get 24 sheets of stickers. And then here, I guess these are like the titles of the sheets of stickers because these characters are repeated up here. So this first sheet is pretty cute. I like this one right here where he's holding the pen and then that guy there, he's holding the ink bottle. <laughs> That's cute, eh? There are some really cute ones in here. I don't regret buying it. It wasn't very expensive, but I just wish there were more of the Doraemon character, right? And there he is in a little hot air balloon of his sister. <laughs> so cute, I love that one. Here he's drawing her. I thought that was funny. <laughs> They're small sheets of stickers, so you can pull them up and put them in your planner if you like. The whole sheet of this guy. You can see you get quite a few with these other characters. This one's cute, he's popping out of the desk. Eating a Merry Christmas snack. And these ones are covers that he appeared on. <laughs> kind of unusual. Over there. You can hear little sounds in the background. That's Wilbur. There's a whole sheet of these characters here. And another sheet of them. Cute little cat there. And these small stickers here. And this sheet here, you can write things in speech bubbles if you like. Some cute little index stickers. These ones are cute. I really like these ones. It's got the little award ribbon. And here he's wearing a little birthday party hat. <laughs> Very cute. These are little border stickers. some of his gadgets. And then at the back, there are these printed sheets. These are not sticker sheets, but they're just kind of like informational sheets. But I think what I'm gonna do is cut out the images and glue them in my Hobonichi. Little cat there. <laughs> and then the back cover. So that's that one there. Cute little Doraemon. So here's the other Doraemon sticker book that I bought. This one has a little more Doraemon in it, although there are the other characters as well. Here's a little table of contents type of thing again. These are cute. Got the pen. <laughs> and then here, this one's so cute. He's lying in a hammock. And he's kind of swinging from clouds there. <laughs> That's so cute. And a cute little cat looking at him. He's like winking at her. <laughs> cute, eh? This sheet's really cute. And this cute little cat there as well. These small ones would be good to put in your monthly calendar boxes if you like, or your weeks. They're nice and small. 
And there's his little sister. She's so cute, eh? So on this sheet, you can write in the speech bubbles if you like, just like in the other book. This one looks neat. These are so cute. Happy birthday, it's happy Valentine's Day, happy new year, a trick-or-treat one, and a Merry Christmas one. It's very cute. Here, a little fish bit him in the nose. <laughs> That's so cute. This one's really cute. They're putting together a model of him. A Doraemon model. That's so cute. <laughs> That's totally adorable. These are cute little border stickers. And then this one big sticker right here. <laughs> He's so cute. I love his happy face. He's so sweet. And then we have more informational pages at the back here. I'm probably just going to cut the images of him out. Here you can write things in the speech bubbles if you like. And then on the backs of these ones, there's a print. So you could kind of, if you want, you can cut these out and use them as an origami paper. See that, there's it's all over print of the characters. And then this one here, it's like that previous page where you can write in the speech bubbles. And then the back has a different print. You can use that as origami paper as well if you like. All the little gadgets and things. There you go, that's that one. So overall, I, I prefer this one. And then there's this Sumiko Garashi one that I got, it's so cute. I love Sumiko Garashi, they're so cute. Eh? All these adorable stickers of these cute characters. And I love how they have this one right here. So you can put this on the corner of your page, your journaling page, and it'll just frame your journaling page so nicely, you know what I mean? They have these little guys in the corner, so cute. In this image here, there's a postcard at the back with this image close up, so you get to see that one again later. They're so sweet. I love these characters. I love the cat. He's so precious to me. So adorable. Look at this little guy here. Like this box around him. <laughs> He's so cute. I just love him. He's very sweet. And then these ones down here, they're die cut into little postage stamp shapes. Super cute. can be folded and used as little index stickers. Totally adorable. And then here we have two postcards at the back. All right, there's that one there. And then this one here is that close-up of that other sticker that we saw before. I just thought this was so sweet because they're all cuddled up in the bed together. And then this little guy, he's thinking of his mom and he's got a tear coming out of his eye. He's so precious. Oh, he's crying because he's missing his mom. How sweet, eh? And that's that one. So cute, you can see the, the back of them there. <laughs> How cute it eh? is. Okay. So next up are these washi tape rolls and these sticker sheets that I got. I got two of each just because I think they're so cute. And they feature Doraemon with Hello Kitty. So they did this kind of like little partnership of the two. <laughs> they're so cute, right? And this is a die cut roll of washi tape. I'll open that so you guys can check it out. And then the sticker sheet here is very, very cute. Although a little bit pricey, I have to say. 
So if you're ever gonna order stuff from Amazon Japan, I think it's basically like ordering from Hobonichi where the prices on the website include tax, which is charged to people in Japan, right? So when you log in and they see that you're not in Japan, then they reduce the price a little bit. So they subtract the tax, right? So these were 400 yen, which is a little bit under, well, it's a little bit over 450 Canadian. So under $5, but still kind of expensive, I think for a sticker sheet. It's not a huge sticker sheet, but they are very, very cute stickers. And they have a very subtle kind of pearlescent sheen to them. It's hard to pick up, I think, but it's a very subtle pearlescent sheen and they're very cute stickers. You can see that Doraemon is wearing a little bow, like Hello Kitty, and Hello Kitty is dressed like Doraemon. They're very, very cute. Adorable. Okay, so here is the washi tape roll. You can see that it says masking tape B there because there is a different design as well. I just picked this one because I really like this one. You only get four meters on this thing. It's 20 millimeters by four meters. So it's not a whole lot of tape on there. Let's try to get this open. I'm trying to keep this sticker if I can. Sometimes when I peel these, they just rip right away. So I'm gonna try my best so I can save this. Ooh, good. There we go. Okay. this little plastic little protector thing on it this little band of plastic okay oh I like this it has a nice texture to it sort of a you know how some washi tape is very very waxy feeling this one is more of a matte feel to it I like that let's find the end oh it's so cute oh the print quality is very nice you can see it is very very cute and the print quality is very nice so I'm very glad that I got two rolls of this. So adorable. And if you want, you can cut out the little images and paste them into your journals separately. Like you can kind of rearrange them <laughs> if you want, if you don't want them in a big row like this. But this looks absolutely adorable. And I just, I love die cut washi tape. It's just so cute, I love it. All right, let me just try to pan across without shaking too much, but I'm very shaky usually. <laughs> Doraemon Hello Kitty. Absolutely adorable tape, eh? It's so cute. Okay, so there's the washi tape. I'm loving it. Okay, next up, I got these cute little tins. I love these so much that I actually bought two of each because they're so adorable. So here are the other ones that I bought. <laughs> they're so cute, eh? So when you first get them, they come with this little sticker on the front right here. And you can peel that off very easily. It doesn't leave like any sticky goo or anything like that. So it's, it's very easy to peel off. And then the back looks like this, right? And I just, I thought these were so cute because they were not very expensive at all. And you get this adorable tin and then you get 80 sheets inside. So you get 80 cute little die cut memo sheets in there and they were just really weren't very expensive at all. I think this one was 412 yen and then the Dora Maun one is a little bit more, 493 yen. So there were, this one was like a little bit under five bucks Canadian and then this one was less than six dollars Canadian. So a little over 550 Canadian, very cheap though, considering how cute they are. And then you can use the tins for something else later on if you want. So inside you get 80 sheets of these cute little memos and they're all the same print, but they're absolutely adorable. I just love them so much. This little guy here is the Corgi and in the listing they had different animals, right? So they had several different animals in the same listing. And then his, when I did a little Google translate on the option name, his translated to shortly. <laughs> This is so cute. So this is a little corgi little guy and die cut notes look like this. They're a circle with a little cutout there, right? And then there's a scored line in the middle. I'm not sure if you can pick up on that. You can see it. And then part of the image is die cut, right? So you can write your message on the inside and you can also write more of a message on the back because there's these dotted lines on the back, right? And then you fold the little memo note along the scored line, right? Like so. And then you have this totally adorable little die cut memo. How cute, he's absolutely adorable, I just love him. And then if you want, you can kind of stand him up on your desk or if you're leaving someone a note, you know. He stands up, how cute, he's totally adorable. I just love him so much, melts my heart. I don't know if you can see, but he's so cute. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. I just love him so much. So yeah, I got two of the Corgi because my dog is a Chiggy. He's a Corgi and Chihuahua, so I had to get anything, anything with Corgis, I have to get, I have to get. So that's the little guy there, Got two of him. And then the Dory Moon one is super cute as well. I love him. 
you get 80 sheets of his note paper inside and he looks like this. He looks very happy and cheerful. And then like the other ones, they have a score line there and then part of his image is die cut, right? So you can write your message there and you can write more on the back with the dotted lines there in the sky. And then you fold along the score line and you get this cute little pop-up dotted moon. Isn't he cute? Oh my god, he's so cute. Look. He's totally adorable. Isn't he cute? He's very happy, very happy character. You can have him just sitting on your desk there to cheer you up. So I've also got two Doraemon pens. I mentioned these in some of my other videos before. This is the little guy who is in the Hobonichi store now. He's sold out a couple times already, but this is a little guy, the same little guy in the Hobonichi store. And then I just wanted to get this little guy too because he's so cute. So you can see here a little size comparison. Well, actually, this pen is longer. Right. The character is a little bit smaller. And then try not to shake, but that's kind of impossible. Let's see. <laughs> He's really horrible. And they both have a little action movement, and I'll show you that in a moment. So this little guy, when you click on his clicker, he has a snack and drink some tea too. Yeah. Eh. Eh. And then this little guy, he like turns. His action is, is not as much as this little guy here. <laughs> this kind of turns his head. But he's very cute though. I mean, they're both very cute. See, this little guy does a little more, right? <laughs> but they're totally adorable. I love them. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how the ink works in the Hobonichi, right? Okay, so now I've got my Hobonichi A6 etc. with me, and I just want to do a quick comparison. So this is the free pen that you get from Hobonichi. This is a Jetstream ink in there, right? So I just wanted to do a little comparison so you can see the line width difference and all that kind of stuff. And now this is the Dory Moon pen that Hobonichi is selling. And now for the other Dory Moon pen. Okay, so here's a closer look at how the three pens write. And out of these three pens, the smoothest writing one on the Tomoe River paper was the Jetstream pen from Obonichi. The second one, which is the Dory Moon pen in the Hobonichi store, it did have some, I don't know if it'll pick up, but the writing looks kind of terrible. We can see that there are some little skips in there, right? Compared to the Jetstream, right? So this one here, this one writes with a thicker line width than the other two, and it also just writes kind of blobbier. <laughs> you know, I don't really know how to describe it, but you can see there on the D and the O1 Dittering Moon, you can see some kind of little blobs there, right? And in one of my videos, I mentioned that, I don't know if I mentioned it in two videos, but this pen, the one that's not in Hobonichi Store, I said that this pen bled through on the Toy River paper. And that was true. The first time I used this pen, the ink bled through, and I was so surprised because this is a ballpoint pen ink, and I've never seen ballpoint pen ink bleed through on the Tomei River paper, right? It did bleed through the first time I used it, but then this time, it seems to be okay. It's not doing anything too crazy. It, it's bleeding through just a little bit, but it's not as bad as the first time I used it. The first time I used it, it was writing a lot, I don't know, it's just a lot inkier <laughs> and a lot blobbier than it is this time. This time it's not as bad as the first time I used it, but you can see, if you look very closely, it is, there are like little touches where it's starting to bleed through, see that? But it, it's really not as bad as the first time I used it, but you know, the other two did do better, right? I just wanted to give you guys a side-by-side -side comparison there, right? And last but not least, I got myself this awesome toy. I don't usually buy myself toys like this, but I could not resist this just because I, I love this little guy. He's so cute. I got this on Amazon. <laughs> and you can actually change his face. So you can take his face off. Yeah. And you can put this other face on. <laughs> you can also change the eyes. So you can take these eyes out. Right? And then you can put those eyes on this little guy. Or if you want, you can have him winking so you can have this eye, whoops, this eye on this smiley face. Right, so he looks like he's winking. <laughs> Cute, right? 
But I just wanted to show you what he looks like with a different smile on. He's so cute. So I'm going to be putting him on my desk when we have a desk again, because right now we're in the... Well, we're just waiting to move, right? So I don't have a desk right now, but I thought that he would look so cheerful on my desk or on my bookshelf. And there he is there with his other smile. So cute. I just think he's so adorable. He's absolutely adorable. And you can also pose his arms. So you can have his arms doing this. Doing that. <laughs> he's very, very cute. <laughs> and you can also turn his head too if you want. Oh, you can do some kind of freaky looking thing like this. <laughs> you can have him kind of turn to the side if you like. He's got his little tail there. <laughs> so cute. Okay, so the next time you see this little guy, he'll be in the thumbnail of my haul video. So if you if you like watching Hobonichi haul videos, then keep a lookout for him. And if you see him in the thumbnail, then that'll be my haul video. We just want to say thanks for watching and hopefully catch you next time. All right, bye. <laughs>